Hello, this is Mikey from Authentic Health and Fitness here with you today to talk you through how to learn Reiki. There's two things I'm going to be covering in this video and that is the Reiki attunement process and also the levels of Reiki. Now if you don't know what this is, do not worry, I'm about to go into that and explain it from the ground up. Before I begin, I highly recommend checking out the link in the description below if you want to learn Reiki, if you want more information on Reiki, please check it out. It comes highly recommended from me if you want a great, great guy to learn. So let's cut to it. So, Reiki is easily learned and practiced as self-care by anyone who is interested, regardless of the person's age or the state of health. Children can learn to practice as can the elderly and the infirm. There's no special background or credentials needed to receive training. One of the hallmarks of Reiki practice is its simplicity. It can be learned in about 10 hours of in-person training, generally offered in a group or in um, a class format and doesn't require knowledge, special knowledge that is, or, or um, special healthcare knowledge. Now, Reiki is not taught in the way other healing techniques are taught. It is transferred to the student by the Reiki master during an attunement process. The process opens the crown, heart and palm chakras and creates a special link between the student and the Reiki source. The Reiki attunement is a powerful spiritual experience. The attunement energies are channeled into the student through the Reiki master. Now, the process is guided by the Rai, or God Consciousness, and makes adjustments in the process depending on the needs of each student. Now, the attunement is also attended by Reiki guides and other spiritual beings who help implement the process. Many report having mystical experience involving personal messages, healings, visions, and past life experiences. Once you have received the Reiki attunement, you will have Reiki for the remainder of your life. Believe it or not, it does not wear off and you can never ever lose it. While one attunement is all you need for each level to be attuned to that level, additional attunements bring benefit. Experimentation has found that additional attunements of the same level add to the value of that level. Those benefits include refinement of the Reiki energy one is channeling, increased strength of the energy, healing of personal problems, clarity of mind, increased psychic sensitivity and a raised level of consciousness. In order to improve the results you receive during the attunement, a process of purification is recommended. This will allow the attunement energies to work more efficiently and create greater benefits for you. Another separate video on Reiki attunement is going to be available shortly, but please just be aware that there is preparation required for attunements. Now, the levels. Traditionally, there are three degrees of practice, each building on the other and each outlining a unique specific scope of practice. Daily hands-on Reiki self-treatment remains the foundations, the foundation at all levels of practice. First degree is usually taught over about 8 to 12 hours. Students practice Reiki self-care and share Reiki with one another. The class prepares students to give themselves daily Reiki for life. Students learn hand placements to use when sharing Reiki with family or friends, either through a full session or an abbreviated chair session, as well as how to offer Reiki in acute situations and through informal spot therapy. Reiki classes are offered to nurses and other healthcare professionals um, on a regular basis, although the class is primarily experiential. So the Reiki master gives an overview of the history and precepts of Reiki. More importantly, the Reiki the Reiki master initiates students so they become empowered conduits for Reiki energy. Traditionally, first degree training includes four initiations. For most people who want to practice on themselves and family, first degree training is all you're really going to need. Then you've got second degree, and second degree is distant healing. Students learn to replace the hand to body contact with a mental connection that's needed so that healing can be offered even when touch is impossible or inappropriate. Um, second degree techniques can also be used to enhance hands-on treatment. The third and final level is Reiki Master level. The third degree level is Reiki Master. Traditionally, the Reiki Master level of training was by invitation only. This invitation was extended only to accomplished students who were prepared to devote their lives to teaching people who practice Reiki. 
Traditionally, master training is done not through coursework, but rather through an extended apprenticeship with a Reiki master. Only Reiki masters can teach Reiki to others. And that's it. That's the basic three levels of Reiki and the attunement process. Learning Reiki requires no special skills, intelligence, experience or religious beliefs. It is an ability that is in all of us. Consequently, it can be learned by anyone from the seasoned healer to a small child. Anyone can learn Reiki and receive great benefit from it in all areas of their life. I highly recommend, guys, you check out the link below if you do want a great guide to learning Reiki. And that's it. Please thumbs up the video if you enjoyed and stay tuned for more and subscribe. Thanks a lot and see you soon.